Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Fantasy Life Origin Islands. Last, I always call it Origin Islands, as in plural. There's only one Origin Island, Dale, geez. <laughs> Last time, we became a god-ranked blacksmith, our seventh life in total, which we have completely mastered to the god rank. Um, and the first one out of this batch of six before I try the Trial of Time. So now we are switching over to our eighth life today. We are going to be starting the mining life. And we've already become a hero because uh, we needed stuff before in order to... <laughs> I love the little hero get up. It's great. Uh, so last episode, I did say that I was going to... Um, I was going to see about making a brand new pickaxe, but... The the long or well, the short story the long story the long story is once upon a time there was a guy that started playing fat no the short story is basically the only other one that we can really make is the giga the giga one and it's it's not really worth much of an improvement like I'll show you the extra ones we can make um, it's not too like important I don't think so we are currently using the the mole pickaxe which is here so the next one up from that is the giga one which only goes up by an extra what's this 50 only up by an extra six points and the current one that i've got has an extra 10 tool power on it as well because i made it uh, it's not fantastic quality but i think it's something like 56 in total um and the crafting time oh no wrong one <laughs> uh where are we giga giga Giga. There we are. The maximum sweet spot strikes. Like, I think that just changes how long you can stay in the sweet spot before the big ones move the sweet spots. So, not too bothered by that. Um, and the, the materials we need, the ancient stone, you can get as a rare drop from, like, the uh, the stone golems. And the cruel fang, I think the, the gigator and the strongator drop those. Uh, but they're quite rare to get, so it's not really worth it. Um, I would love to make the demonic pickaxe. I can get Oh, well, I don't think I can get the Dark Stone. I think I'm... Mm, we'll eventually get it. But the Evil Claw you get from the boss of the Trial of Darkness, which I'm not ready for yet. I'm going to become a god in all 12 lives before I do that. And, of course, the Spirit Pickaxe. You know, no no way we're going to be getting that just yet. So, so we are sticking with our Mole Pickaxe for now. If it becomes much of a problem, then I will switch out to a different one. Um, but Pickaxe the Pace. There we go. Um, we've completed one more quest. Uh, I didn't actually know how we did that, but whatever. Okay, let's take a look at our quest, see what we have to do. Ugh. Okay. Mind if- Oh, no! It's just like the wood-cutting ones. Oh, kill me now. Uh, obtain one diamond. Ooh, that sounds difficult. And then mine for- Guys. Are you looking at this? I have to mine 300 more times and get a diamond. Alright, looks like I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Off to Levitania I go to become a legendary miner. Oh goodness. Guys, I will be right back. <gasps> I got a diamond! Hooray! Uh, I used my, my special skill on the big superior rock here. And let's see how many times I've mined. Because I can tell that. I was only 21. <laughs> it feels like more. Uh, so here's my plan for getting the three, or oh, sorry, the, yeah, the extra 270 odd that I need. I am going to return to my house. I can't believe I need to mine 279 more rocks. Uh, I should mine my own business. Uh -huh. Oh, hello, we've got, oh, have we got new recipes? Ooh. Ooh, take a look at your recipes. Thank you, Divinus. I think we have to read that in order to to unlock them. I'm not sure. Anyway, like I was saying, here's my um <clears throat> my way of finishing things up. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna go to the Elderwood. Not the Elderwood. Mount Snow Peak. And I'm gonna walk over here and <laughs> ignore all these little peckers. Um, and I'm just gonna go, hi, how's it going, buddy? Dead. And dead. You know, that's, that's two. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take forever. I don't think there's any over here. Oh my goodness. Basically, I'm gonna find, like, ridiculously easy to mine stuff, and I'm just gonna smack it once. And done. Smack it once. 
and done. You know, that's the plan. Oh well, since I'm here, I may as well talk to the secret smithy. I mean, magma ore, yay. Uh, because we're we're a god blacksmith now, so let's see what he's got to say about that. Reach hero rank. Ooh, many greeting spark hammer. Oh, you see, you're telling me the stuff I already know. Thanks, Iron Smith. Uh, you will be my honorary rival. Okay. I mean, <laughs> oh, no one knew. Eh, what you want, you young whippersnapper? I mean, the the legendary Iron Smith. Nothing. What do you say, god rank? You're not fooling anyone. If there was a blacksmith rank that high, I would have known about it. Huh? You say you'll get the license to prove it? Hmm. I don't know if you're telling the truth or not, but you work just the same. And we get the recipe for the Crescent Blade. I believe that's like one of the best great swords in the game, which is pretty crazy. All right, time to mine like 300 more times. Yay. So 40, 40, 47 minutes into recording this episode, and I'm only about 60 ores in, and I realized I can probably take out this Dark Stone, which I didn't think I could. Um, it heals back its hit points so, so quickly. At the minute, I've only used one extra potion. Um, unfortunately, the quest for, for handing this in, we won't get the reward for it because you have to actually unlock it first and then potion, and then look at how much hit points it's already revived. There we go. Um, but, you know, this is something which I didn't think I could do yet because I wasn't high enough skill. I also found a much bigger stone. I think it was called like the Divine Stone, which clearly I'm not going to be able to take out yet. There we go. How about that? That broke things up a little bit, quite literally. Um, so rare metal, rare metal. Cool. Let's uh, let's go hand this in and see what we get for it. Okay. I think you just get the Dark Stone from it. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah, you see who turned out the lights? We Oh, we get an ancient orb. Oh, cool. Who turned out the lights? We, we finished the quest, which we haven't actually unlocked yet. So once we unlock the quest to do it, we'll get it. But as you can see, I'm 50 minutes in, and I've only done 75. Uh, I think my plan is to do the lava cave. <clears throat> Excuse me. To do the lava cave, I think there's like 12 ores in there. And then head out of the cave and go into the champion's house. And that counts as two areas away. And then go back into the cave and do it again. So that's what, 10 times would be 120, 20 times would be 240, that would get me there. So I've just got to, I've just got to do it 20 times, yay! Well, I got the 300 one, <laughs> I've been recording now for an hour and two minutes, which is great. So I'm going to show, I've, got, I've done 310 so far, I'm going to show you guys, after two attempts of doing this, I've found out the, pretty much the best way. Uh, so if we start start at Gladstone's house here, I'm going to start a timer now. Is this Gladstone? Yeah, it is. I'm going to show you the best route that I found to do this. So if you guys are having trouble doing this, then by all means, like, follow this. But it is much, much better if, as you play through the game, you just mine whenever you see a node. Just mine, trust me, just mine. Okay, so entering the lava cave. First thing, we want to take care of... Uh, this here. Uh, you don't have to take out the enemies. Some enemies, I would say, take them out. But I found out just tapping X just takes that node out fairly quickly. Um, this guy, he's always an issue, so kill him. And again, tapping X. Oh, earthly treasure, whatever. That kind of wasted a little bit of time there, but <clears throat> that is fine by me. Okay, so we need to take out the Caterpillar, or the Flame Caterpillar, or whatever they're called. Uh, in order to unlock the secret smithy. Okay, and through we go. And there should be two nodes in there. Okay, and they're just normal nodes, which is fine. We can just tap X. I haven't found any super... Well, actually, no, I have found one superior node. Um, actually, it might not have been a good idea to come straight here. I should have probably taken out the nodes that were the, right near those enemies, because now I'm going to have to try and take out the nodes with the enemies there as well, which is going to be a bit of a pain. So these superior ones, you want to do a single charge. That's fine. Um, and then, obviously, you see, this is why I don't like the enemies being here. Boom, there we go. Okay, always go down rather than up around that circle one, because sometimes um, you can get, uh, you can miss some nodes. Okay, take out the lava golem. And of course, I'm just leaving the bounties because I don't care for them. 
And usually the dragon scab, I think it's called, is here, so you can take that out quite quickly if you really want to. Um, it won't respawn unless you sleep, but that's two more nodes. Okay, come back down here. There's not any on this section. There's not any on this section, but down here there's usually a couple, including a bounty as well, so there's actually four. So I think... I'm not into... Oh, can I focus on the gelling? I think in total there are... Um, there are 12 nodes every time you come into Lava Cave. Um, and then single charge. Lovely. Oh, we've got Earthly Treasure, so we may as well... I didn't actually want that. We may as well use it on here. Um, take that out quickly. Normally a double X charge can take out that great deposit on its own. And then finally, the superior node here. Boom. Okay, now we have to run back to Gladstone's house. And currently I've... It's been 2 minutes 48 in this... Uh, in this sort of section, and they're distracted by the bounty, which is fine. Uh, killing the enemies is definitely helpful at times, and then not helpful at other times. It's really a case of, if they're in your way, kill them, because it's better than trying to get a node when there's an enemy right there, you know what I mean? Okay, and then we head back up to Gladstone's house. Sadly, we can't fast travel there. It would be lovely if we could. And all this only used 40 SP as well, or around about 70, I guess, I don't know how much I had. Into Gladstone's house, that resets all of the nodes in Lava Cave, and it's been three and a half minutes. So, let's see, did I actually get 12 nodes from that? Because I'm not entirely sure. I did. So, I've got 180, 178 to go. 178 does not actually go into 12, which is annoying, but... Yeah, three minutes a pop. That's about, what, 15 more times? 45 minutes? Ah, see you guys in about 45 minutes. I have been recording for two hours, two minutes, and 21 seconds. Almost 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two there. And I'm finally out of that godforsaken cave. Douglas, you suck. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Ah. Oh. Jeez, yeah, I'm sure I'm getting the hang of mining. There you go. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's not even... That's not even the last quest. Okay, so let's go to our licenses, take a look at our challenges, and scroll down until we see one worth 1,400. Oh, there was one. What was that? 800 and 600. Something to do with owl magic, it would seem. Okay, time to figure that one out. Okay, looks like to finish these things off, we have to go and unlock these quests. Which means we've got to go hunt down some people. Alright, let's head to Port Puerto and go to Snoot's Emporium. <clears throat> you can tell, I've like stopped talking for so long that I've started to sound weird. Uh, this, is, this is my bug at the moment. Apparently, if I stop talking, like stuff settles and it's ugh. but if I carry on talking I'm fine <clears throat> I'm just gonna clear the uh out of the way first okay so over here somewhere you is it you yeah Manuel yep I'm a miner very important indeed <clears throat> there we go apparently got a ring yep good well fantastic story there <laughs> you can tell that I just like I've given up Oh, thank you very much for that durable charm. I'm going to completely ignore the fact that I've got it. Ah, Fire Wingstone. All right, that's one quest received. And we may as well finish talking to you. Uh-huh, see if you give me anything else. Nope, cool. All right. So, now let's head to Al Magic. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, guys, sorry, excuse me. And we want to head towards, apparently, the Eastern Shops. So, let's go find another miner. It might, it might be one of the moles, actually. I don't know. Um, but apparently she was, like, towards the eastern shops. Oh, hang on. It could have been back up that way. Oh, well. We'll, we'll soon find her. Um, eastern shops, eastern shops. You. Is it you? Yes. Angela. <clears throat> ah, the wingstone. Yes. Earthly wings. All right. There we go. Oh, we might as well finish talking to her. So, <clears throat> oh, we can now invite Angela. Fantastic. Uh, guys, I will meet you at the Dry Sand Desert after I have rested my voice a little bit because it's getting worse. 
All right, first things first. Oh, that sounds much better. Let's head into the subterranean lake. This is where I believe the earth wing stone is. I'm not entirely sure, but I've got a feeling that we're gonna we're gonna get things done now. Oh my goodness. I mean, there are only expert challenges, so it should be fairly easy. If I remember correctly, the earth... Ugh. I hate having to take out stupid little enemies. There we go. Unless it was over that way. No, it wasn't over that way. Yeah, I was correct in thinking it was this way. There's like a tree, and then it's past the tree, or something like that. Um, I actually need an earth shard anyway for something. I can't remember what for, but... Wait, there was a secret chest. Ah. Where did the chest actually come from? Oh, over here. Da -da 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 -da, an elixir. Not worth it. Not for me, anyway. Okay, there's some trees. So it's not over this way, I don't think. Uh, no. I don't actually remember coming this way before. Um, oh, wow. Look at that. It takes us exactly where we were to begin with. Huzzah! Okay, so maybe it was over... Oh, was it? No, there's a chest over there. I just want to find the wing stone and go... Can you tell I've had enough? Uh, so I don't think it's this way, because I've got a feeling that the, tr the the big tree is down there. Okay, there we go. Take care of those. Is it this way? Oh, this is the Earth Wingstone. Yay! Okay, let's find that sweet spot. Uh, where is it? Can't find it. Right there. This is hammer away at it. And, oh, it just healed. It's all oh, changed its sweet spot as I used Earthly Treasures, but it's fine. Whatever. There we go. One Earth Wingstone down. Do I have to cash in the bounty? Probably. Earth Mana Plus. I mean, I need the Earth Shard anyway for something, so yeah, it looks like we're going to have to cash in the bounty. Would have probably been wise for me to have killed the enemies on the way down here, but of course, I am not wise, so I didn't. Okay. So let's take this back upstairs. Oh, these enemies over here. Can I sneak past them? Yep. Oh, maybe not this one, because he's right in front of it. There we go. Okay, and here's my plan. I brought Midnight with me for a reason. <laughs> yep, uh, it's so that we can just hop on Midnight. The bounty is safe. Okay, and charge over towards the Fire Wing Stone. Now, that is where the, uh, the Thunderbird could sometimes be. But the Thunderbird doesn't attack you unless you attack it. Same as the Roadrunners, I think. Um, which was, I think they're over this way. Thunderbird isn't... Oh, yes, the Thunderbird is here. Um, so if I dismount here... Oh, and leave the bounty there as well. Here we have the Firewing Stone. So same story, except this is so much easier. Skidoosh. Done. <laughs> Alright, there we have it. Yay, bounty appeared. Alright, uh, midnight, let's go. Woo, over that hill. Over the hill and far away... Dale comes to play a game which actually infuriates him right now. 500 nodes? Ugh. Look, Bounty Clerk, here you go. Have a fire, Wingstone. Wings of fire complete. Yep, thank you very much. And look, I've also got this Earth Shard thing as well. There we have it. And we got an Earth Shard for it as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Can you tell that I've had enough? Oh, my, and my 3DS is about to run out of battery. This is not happening. It's got, like, the flashing red light. I haven't saved for, like, four episodes. I'm not spending another two hours... There we go, charging. <laughs> I'm not spending another two hours and 13 minutes on redoing everything I did in this episode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Douglas, buddy, there you go. Report. Thank you very much. We are now a legend. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yep, yep. EIA or whatever it is. I don't know. I've, I've given up on being enthusiastic now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta go see uh, Report to the Castle, of course. We may as well talk to Douglas anyway. Find your legend, Rock Daniel, and now you. You're out there making something of yourselves. There's something about seeing you all lining out on your own. Nothing better. Yep, Master, blah, blah, blah. In fact, pleasure will one day become your pupil. Uh, I'm not even going to talk to you. I don't even care. <laughs> My level of care right now is pretty much non-existent. I'm going to go talk to Eric, get my new pickaxe, and then end things off because, oh, oh, 
I would love to go to uh, to see Divinus and see what we actually have to do to become a god. And I've got a feeling that all we're going to have to do is take out that divine stone because I've got a feeling we've done everything else we could have possibly done. We've taken down the dark stone, we've dug up enough uh, chalk ore and dark ore, I think it was, I can't remember. But anyway, Eric, here you go, buddy. Well met, Dale? Yep, there we go. At last, it seems you've reached the status of legend rank miner. You have no idea, buddy. Congratulations, I offer my most sincere regards to you. In addition to celebrating this auspicious day, I'd like to present you with this. The solar pickaxe. Cool. Dale, my loyal subject, you have provided this great land with much precious ore. Tell me, have you considered taking a break from the minor life? Why not take up arms you so diligently contributed to producing? The road is yet long, my friend. There is much that remains to be enjoyed. I, I, I have not enjoyed the mining life so far. Alright, let's take a look at this pickaxe and see just how great it is. It's not even that great. Red drops plus. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for putting up with my bad attitude. <laughs> oh, no, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Fancy Life Origin Island. I hope that I've got about 15 minutes plus of content in the last 2 hours, 15 minutes and 29 seconds of recording. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode, where hopefully we will become a god miner. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A nice easy ride to become a god. Thanks once again, see you next time. Bye-bye.